Hi everybody, this is Mike Staver. This is Money's with Mike. Uh, these questions just came in before we started shooting, or this question just came in before we started shooting, so I'm gonna do these uh, from here. My team didn't print them out for me, which is perfect. Um, here's the first question. Here's the question I'm gonna answer this week on Money's with Mike. For those of you that are new, welcome. We're glad you're here. Hit subscribe. We want you to be a part of the family. I answer questions, random questions sent in. I have not seen the questions I'm about, or the question I'm about to answer. I've got multiple questions, so I'm gonna shoot multiple of these. Here we go. Mike, what are the initial steps for one who is striving to become more vulnerable? Don't do it. Don't, just kidding. Uh, the initial steps for becoming more vulnerable is find somebody you trust explicitly. And it might be a therapist or your physician, I don't know, and share little vulnerable moments. Vulnerability is just putting yourself at, putting who you are at risk and placing that in the hands of another person. It's dangerous and stupid. Anybody that tells you just be bla blanket, or what do I say, Bla uh, what a bit, blatantly uh, vulnerable, don't do it. Brene Brown does a great job. She has a great definition of it, love Brene. And, um, uh, I would do it with somebody that you trust a lot. I mean, a hundred percent. I've got a friend who had a best friend who she shared some very vulnerable information and she totally betrayed her trust. So be careful, you know, share the little stuff and see if it gets shared. You think, ah, oh, you know, they were just saying that, you know, we were having blah, 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 blah. No, start with the little things, go to the bigger things. Usually start with the safest person in your world. And if you have real vulnerable things you want to try out, do it with, um, uh, somebody that is you know, legally bound to manage your confidentiality. If it's a conversation you want to have with a person, what's the worst thing that can happen? You share some little vulnerable piece of information, I kind of like you, or I'd like to get to know you, or uh, you know, I've had people say, would you come to me and say, would you help me learn to speak? It was very vulnerable of them to ask me. Um, it was a little risk, and the, what's the worst thing I'm gonna say? No. So little things, somebody you can trust, uh, or a professional. That's what I'd say. Hope that was helpful. This is Money's with Mike. Subscribe or send me a question at the link below or go to mikestaver.com forward slash Money's with Mike. Until next time, take care.